River adds to wall, I say, I suck today. Apparently it's too nice. That's the excuse I'm gonna use, but usually a catfish like really nice weather and I have an experiment planned, so let's go. I'm basically walking a mile, mile and a half to the middle of nowhere, through the middle of nowhere. Cause you gotta do that stuff to catch fish sometimes. 90% of the fish are in 10% of the water. Plus it's uh, getting my exercise for the day. I bet there's mushrooms in here in the spring. Not that I'm any good at finding them. Not committed enough to the cause. I walk through the woods and I'm like, bet the white bass are biting. Bet the catfish are biting. And lots of times they are. Well, there's the river. Probably not too many catfish there. Maybe. But I'm gonna keep walking. The heck is that thing? Huh. Well, oh, made it. The super secret fishing spot that somebody's already here. Oh well, it's not a secret. That's pure sarcasm. But it is a secret, at least to me. It's my little experiment that we're gonna do. All right, my little experiment is uh, people in the winter, fishing in the winter say that you can use frozen bait and it works just as good as fresh bait. But I caught some fresh, juicy shad right here. And then I also have some freshly frozen, like three week old shad. That's also very juicy and delicious. And we're gonna find out which one works better. And the suspense is killing me. Get it? Suspense. All right, I'll stop for a little bit. I'm gonna chop these up. These scissors are not designed for this, but as you can see, they'll work in a pinch. All right, so fresh on the right, frozen on the left. I got three rods, so I'll put frozen on one, fresh on the other, and then the third one, the wild card. I'm going to put fresh on just because I have more confidence in that. should probably put an asterisk next to it to note my personal biases, just to make it a little more, you know, scientific. Probably should have taken the sinkers out of my pocket before I cut up the bait. Would have kept my pocket smelling nicer, I suppose. As far as sinker weight goes, I recommend using whatever you grab. Especially if your sinkers blow your hook, like these ones, because your bite's transmitted directly to the rod anyway. Maybe the weight makes a few of them drop it, but I don't know. And also to make this a little more scientific, we're going to rotate bait spots, assuming we catch anything. I'm hopeful, though. The fresh one is out. I find it interesting how they basically turn gold when uh, they're frozen. They have a gold machine to them. Alright, hopefully it don't take too long. We will see. Let's see if I can remember which one's which too. Might be an issue. We are officially fishing. Oh, officially. I don't know why quotation marks were appropriate there, but we're going with it. Oh, there's one. On the fresh, I was just moving the frozen. I'm back. You running at me or what? I'm still, I think he's still on there. Uh, there he is. Found a cat! Yeah, sweet, that was quick. I like it. All right, he hit it all right for the water being like 37 or 39 degrees. Oh yeah, he's lucky I'm not hauling him out of here. Sweet. I like this place. That's a good one on the fresh while he's getting ready to move the frozen. Just made my little morning right here. It's a fine eating specimen right there and one that I'll never stub my nose at. And it puts a big smile on my face, especially when we're talking December. Although it kind of feels like October today. It's pretty sweet. Anyway, he would be delicious, 
but I have a long walk and I'm going to go fishing somewhere else after this and don't have a cooler. I like to take care of the fish if I'm going to keep them and it makes them taste a lot better. Let's uh, try to catch a few more. Later on, dude. Wrong direction. I have them all discombobulated. There he's off. Take another 10 of him. One nothing fresh cut bait. And he, that one was a ways out there, so I'm going to have to reach with the the uh, frozen stuff too. Just to try and make it equal. There we go. Let it drop straight down. I hit a fish. I always find that entertaining when you cast out and you can feel it donk a fish on the noggin on the way down. I'm easily entertained, I guess. All right, we got the frozen on the right, the fresh on the left. Chad. Come on. Occasionally. Oh. Oh, whoa. I wonder if I... Oh, it, w it was a fish and then it was snagged into a fish. <laughs> it popped right off. I snagged them both. Both hooks just full of carp scales now. Yeah, there's a big carp and a bunch of buffalo left now. That's funny. That's always fun if you ain't catching nothing. All right. We are on, ooh, this feels solid. This one doesn't count because it's the wild card. This is the fun rod, the non-scientific rod. This feels like a really nice fish, like for real. Or maybe it's the rod, but I don't know, it's fun. Sweet. This is on fresh for, you know, just for documentation, non-scientific purposes. Come here, bud. Oh, he's cutting. He's got some good weight. He about like the other one. I feel way bigger on this fishing rod, though. It's kind of crazy how that works. This is a great eater channel cat rod. Oh, he's nicked up. All right. Uh... That's fun size, especially on this fishing rod, and I don't know, what else, what more can you ask for? I'm not going to ask for anything more than a bunch of channel cats like that, because that's awesome. That's fun. But like I said, I'm easily amused. So far, every rod's been bit once. Fresh one got bumped already. Figure it out. Oh, that was more of a nibble. There we go. Am I gonna double? Doubles would be cool. Ooh. I don't know how big he is, because it's a little rod, but he's excited. Well, what am I gonna do if I double up? Walk backwards? Nope, whiff. Probably a good thing. I got excited. Wow, oh, this is a good one. Got got my strength back, ate some jerky just in time for this dude. This is the second trip in a row I've chased cats on this river where the single hook rig is getting more action. I don't know, you never know. My experiment every day is different. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is a little hook. <laughs> Fighting like a dandy. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> Sweet. Would have been a mess if I had doubled up with him on the line. Alright, 
that is the biggest catfish I've caught in a while. And uh, he's kind of ruined my experiment, but he ruined my experiment in the absolute best way my experiment could have been ruined. So calling that a win. Right now it's uh, zero for frozen, uh, one for fresh, and then two on the, I guess we'll call it the fun rod. And that was really fun. I keep saying fun over and over again because this is honestly fun. All right, buddy. Okay, bye. Now the frozen's getting nipped. Dig it. And he's still messing with it. There he is. Frozen is about to tie. He ain't like that last one, but he's fun. They're all fun. This is fun. I'm, I'm having fun. Catfishiness. Fun. Top bait. Thing running out of rods in the water. Favorite problem. Tell me about it. You don't have to yell, dude. I'm gonna let you go. Oh, he's all discombobulated. It might be a, one of the funnest words of all time discombobulated. Another one of my favorites is adenosine triphosphate. Just makes you sound smart, even if you're not like me. I think it's one, one, I think. Numbers are really hard sometimes. It's fun how on these nice warm days it gets them all kinds of riled up. And if you're wondering, I'm pretty sure that's my blood, not the fish's blood, but I'm not positive. Lost a lot of casting distance right there. These double hook rigs are tough to cast distances because they get to helicopter. And at least how I ever I how I tied that one. It is just shad remnants spewed around. Love having like excessive amounts of bait. So it doesn't always work that way. I tried really hard there for a second. You can do it. There, I got him. Alright, fun factors going through the roof. And also the um, unsure factor, because today is defying my logic and understanding of uh, what catfish like. You're supposed to like twice the scent, small baits. Why are you eating the single? You know, there is another variable, though. I have a glow-in-the-dark bead on this, and lighter line. Why either of those really matter that much, I couldn't tell you. Oh, he's just a little guy. He's still fun on this rod, though. He's got freckles. Oh, barely, barely hooked. Alright. Let's go. Well, I'm glad I put the fun rod out because uh, it's been fun. Take it back down. Oh, they're so fickle in this cold water. Just realized my camera's off, but the current score is two for the fresh stuff, one for the not fresh stuff, and then I don't know how many for the, the, the fun rod. It doesn't count to the scientific study. I think I'll reel that one in and put fresh frozen bait on. Oh, got him. He pulled it down a little more firmly. 
even though it's small. At least this will give me a chance to put new frozen bait on. Maybe, unless that other one gets hit. Hey. Another pudge ball. Keep hitting the top hook. That's interesting. At least I find that interesting. See it. I lost count, but that's on fresh. I can only count to like three, maybe. I think that might have been the third on there, which is the highest I can count. Getting bit before I can even bait up my other one. They're getting wound up now. There he is. He got tired of waiting on him to pull it down. He might be a carbon copy of that last one. Not a bad one. Thankfully there are no bad ones. Ooh, uh oh. <laughs> so you gonna pull that spinning rod down? Funny. Oh yeah. So you just cut pieces up on that job, stick on the hood? Yep. I wonder if anything else would work. Oh I'm doing an experiment. Uh -huh. And I got fresh shad that I caught. And then I got frozen stuff that I brought. And so far, everyone but one's been on the fresh. Oh, yeah. They are fun. I'll My let you get back to your filming, brother. Oh, you're good. Yeah, I'll leave you a few. Sure. There. might be my new favorite channel cat rod they just that tip is so light and these cold cold catfish that aren't amazingly active could pull it down really easy without feeling a ton of resistance and just lets that hook load up right in the corner of their mouth fun Ooh. He's excited now. Yeah, not a bad one at all. Not too shabby. Channel cats don't get a ton of love, and when I'm flathead fishing, I don't give them a ton of love either, but when I'm not flathead fishing, I like them a lot. The only reason I don't like them when I'm flyhead fishing is because they, they like to kill my live baits that I spent hours catching. If it wasn't for that, you know, I wouldn't be bitter about it. See ya. Alright, I think that, yeah, that's fresh. Oh man. I took the day off, just, I looked at the forecast, I'm like, I gotta go fishing. Oh yeah. Oh. Couldn't even get the, the frozen one baited before I'm getting bit on the fresh one. Is he still there? Yep. There we go. The fresh stuff is dominating right now. I only got about a half hour and then it's all you. Oh yeah. Alright. See you, buddy. Oh. Later. Yeah, that's why the fresh bait, I like it. It bleeds really good. Just looks more appetizing. Not that I'm eating this. Eee. 
Yeah, I swear I was going to oil that. And then I didn't. Oh, all three. Oh. Got whacked pretty good. Oh, he's still on there. There he is. Do I try to hook the other one? Is he still on it? Nope. <laughs> Just start walking backwards and hope the third one don't go in the water. Not a bad problem. Well, will try again a little line. <laughs> oh. Gotta keep walking so you don't come off because the line goes loose. And yeah, that other one's absolutely getting hit. Holy cow. Alright. Yep. Yep. All right, so one more for each. They're about identical. <laughs> oh man. Got greedy and it actually paid off. All right, a little bit bigger one on the fresh. Now I'm looking at that other rod waiting for it to go down. That's exciting. Ah. I'm gonna triple up. Anyway, here's these ones. I'm gonna get them back ASAP and hopefully land whatever's biting on there. But <laughs> I'm, uh, it's safe to say this is a fun day. And I'm rhyming again. Oh! That just hit me on the head. Got him. He ain't bad. Did he come off? Yep, came off. That's all right. Oh, he's free. See ya. Chaos. <laughs> Got a little tap, tap, tap a real. There we got him. This might be a better one to end on. I'm so turned around on which one's fresh and which one's frozen right now, but I'm pretty sure fro fresh has a commanding lead. Come here. Oh yeah, that's a good one to end on right there. See you, friend. That way, that way. Nope, yep, maybe, nope, not over here. Come on. Perfect, see ya. Well, you wanna be in my end of the video? This is the legend Brian right here. He's here telling me stories of the good old days <laughs> and I've enjoyed them, but that's it. That's all the catfish chaos I have time for. I gotta get rolling, but hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, hit the like button. If you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate you watching. For real, hope you catch a giant.